For this video, I want to show you how to find the approximate sample mean variance and standard deviation of the given frequency distribution. This can be done whether you are given a frequency distribution in the format as listed below, or if you can also use this if you are given a histogram with your frequencies. Okay. Um, all of the formulas that I have listed here are programmed into your calculator. So um, I just wanted you to see what the graphing calculator is doing. And I do have a video that shows you how to do hand calculations if you need that. So I will put a link to that in the description below. So the sample mean, what your calculator is doing is it's going to take your X value where X is the midpoint times the frequency where F, like I said, is the frequency. And then you're going to multiply those, find the products, add up all of the products, and then divide by the sample size. If you're calculating the sample variance, the variance you have to take each individual midpoint, subtract the mean, square those deviations, then multiply each of those squared deviations times the frequency, and then after you have multiplied all of them by the frequency, you add up that column, then divide by n minus one, and then to find the sample standard deviation, you just take the square root. So this is a very labor intensive process if you have to do it by hand. So if you're allowed to use technology, this is a much quicker way of doing it. So the first thing that we want to do with our frequency distribution, since we're not given the midpoint, is find the midpoint. So remember to do that, you're gonna take your lower class limit plus your upper class limit and divide by two. So I'm gonna take 20 plus 24, which would give me 44 and divide by two would give me 22. I could do the same thing for the next one, the 25 plus the 29 and divide by two, or I can see that to go from one class to the next, I added five. So I could do the same thing here. So I could just add five to 22 and that would say that the next midpoint is 27 add five again, the next one would be at 32, 37, 42, and 47. And always make sure that your midpoint is in between the two values, that you didn't make a mistake, and all of these look accurate. Okay, after you found your midpoint, what you're going to do is you're gonna grab your calculator. Okay, I'm gonna start a new document and I don't have anything in here right now, so it's not gonna say, do I wanna save? If it did say, do you wanna save? That's completely up to you. You decide um, if you wanna save. So I'm gonna add a lists and spreadsheet. I'm going to name the first list the midpoint, and I'm gonna go ahead and type in midpoint so that I know what it's referencing rather than an X. And instead of typing in the just F for frequency, I'm gonna go ahead and name this FREQ for frequency. Okay, I have all of the values listed out on a piece of paper, but if you would rather not follow along with me, you can come here and um, pause the video and plug in the midpoint values for the midpoint and the frequency values for the frequency, just in case I go too fast. All right, so the midpoint, I'm gonna go ahead and fill those in. And then I'm gonna go to the next column and enter in the frequencies. All right, so always verify that you typed it in correctly. And like I said, I do have it listed out on my paper, so I know that I have them all entered correctly. Okay, and the next step, you could do it on this frequency screen over here in another cell. Um, it's harder for me to see the results on this screen, so I go ahead and enter Control and I and insert a calculator screen. So I'm gonna add a calculator screen to this. So after you've hit enter the data, like I said, if you wanted to, if you hit Control and back, it'll go back to the screen. I could have done this in another cell, but it's a lot harder for me to see, so I hit Control and the letter I in order to insert the calculator, and I just selected Calculator. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're gonna hit menu and we're dealing with statistics. So I'm gonna to go to the statistics menu and then I want to go to stat calculations. Okay, so that was menu, option six statistics and then option one stat calculations. And I'm gonna to go to one variable statistics. Even though I entered in two columns, we are dealing with one variable because we have a frequency distribution. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit one the number of lists, we're just going to have one even though we are entering, we did 
enter in two lists. We still only want to have one list for this. The x1 list is going to be our midpoint. And then our frequency list, we are going to enter this as the frequency. So you can either arrow over here to do this or you can hit the vars and I'm going to select frequency. So x1 list is the midpoint, the frequency list is the frequency. I don't need the category list and I don't need to include categories, so I can just hit enter after that. Okay, and it gives me a lot of information. It does give us x bar, which is our sample mean, so we could write that down. It also gives us our standard deviation, which is 6.75771. Make sure that you look at the correct one. Remember that the sigma x is the population standard deviation. So since we were dealing with a sample, we want to look at s. Okay, so I'll write this down in just one second. There's one more thing that I want to show you how to find in here before I go and write down the results. So again, we were looking for the sample mean, which is x bar, the 32.4 the sample standard deviation, which is the 6.75771. Okay, and then the other thing that we wanted was the variance. So to find the variance, what we can do is hit the variables button, and then we can find the stat.sx. Okay, the stat.sx is telling us that this is the standard deviation, and then if I square this value, that would give me the variance. So my variance is going to be 45.6 repeated. Okay, so again, to do that, I did the vars, and then I found the stat.sx, because this is the statistics variable for the sample standard deviation. Okay, I'm just going to hit escape to go out of there. So in case you need me to recap what we did to do this, it was menu, option 6, option 1, option one, number of lists, we had one, x list, we need the midpoint, the frequency list, we need the frequency, and then just click OK, and that gave us our information. And then to get the variance, we just squared the sample standard deviation that the calculator had stored. So let me go ahead and write down the answers. So our sample mean, is x bar, and it's approximately 32.4. Remember that this is approximate because we don't have the actual data. We are using the midpoint to help us come up with an approximation. The sample standard deviation is s, and it's approximately 6.75771, and just round to however many places that you are told to do. And then the last one is the sample variance. The sample variance may not be asked for as often as the sample standard deviation, but I wanted to show you how to do that just so that you knew how to find it just in case. S squared is the notation that we use for the sample variance, and it ended up being 4.5 sorry, 45.6 repeated, okay? So this process, like I said, is much easier to do in the graphing calculator than it is by hand. I will, as I said before, put a link in the description as to how to find this um, using hand calculations. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.